ladies and gentlemen, I am at the BMW Motra Days in Berlin. We are at the Meze Berlin. That is where the show is happening right now. I'm going to quickly take you inside and show you what's happening in 2023. But before that, let's also go into the parking lots and see if we find or spot some interesting models. This is a good looking R90. This guy clearly doesn't like riding alone. And I'm liking those white wheels on it. Looks quite nice. Here's a good looking GS, the big GS. It's inspired by the Marlboro paint job. And I think it looks quite nice. There's another custom R90. Look at that topography map on the seat. I think that is what he was intending. And all the option 719 parts, gold and black combination. It looks quite good. The BMW logo has been replaced, of course. It looks quite nice in my opinion. Oh, and what do we have here? These look interesting, don't they? I think that's the old R60 or R50, if I'm not wrong. I may be wrong. That R90 looks hot. And then you have the Moto Moreni Gran Paso. Quite quirky. And here's some more vintage love. It was only this morning that I saw these three motorcycles riding together. What a lovely sight it was, being ridden by old people. They were they just pulled into a cafe and uh, one of them, I think it was this bike, yeah, he was the one pushing the bike, the R80RT. RT. He was the one pushing the bike to the cafe. Quite a nice, quite a nice uh, sight that was. And then you have these other vintage models right here. Very nicely done up. The custom scene with these is really good. These old R60s, R80s, etc. The custom scene is really good. Another interesting one is this R1200 GS. That green color looks quite nice. Green seems to be quite popular for the past few years now. And this one seems inspired by this R100 RT that you see here. Oh, check this out. The Paris Dakar edition. An old Beamer with a sidecar, anyone? Another interesting bit about coming to the Motra days is that the entire lineup from BMW, well, almost the entire lineup from BMW, is here for test rides. Remember, they make close to 32 models. They have 32 models in production right now. And most of them are available out here right now. Small variations may not be available, but most, most significant models, model lines, they are available right here for you to test ride. So that's it for that parking lot right now. Let's go in and now look at the show. Right then, the first thing that I can see here are a lot of custom motorcycles. Lot of them. This is based on the R18. In fact, the R18 and the R90, those are the popular canvases right now for a lot of people to make custom motorcycles on when it comes to BMWs. Some superb stuff, superb stuff. And look at the detailing on this. Oh my God, look at the detailing on this. Unbreakable, it says. Now this haul is all about the various aftermarket options that are available for the BMWs. We have people who are selling communication systems. This is Wonderlich, known for some of their best uh, accessories, luggage systems, protection parts, etc. for BMWs. I mean, their category, their uh, catalog is just huge. Just to just to give you a quick yeah that's that's how big the catalog is that's how fat the catalog is right so one products 
for all BMWs, one of the most popular. More custom bike scene right here. We had even been to the Pure and Crafted Festival yesterday and honestly, even that one didn't have so many customs. But the amount of customs that I'm seeing here at the Motra days, of course, is a lot more. And it's quite interesting, whether it's vintage motorcycles, whether it's customs based on new motorcycles, whatever it may be. If you love custom motorcycles, especially BMWs with those big boxer engines, you are going to be in for a big treat. We saw a BMW with a sidecar in the parking lot and now here's the R1800 with a sidecar right here. And just look at the detailing on that sidecar. Oh my God, I mean, yeah, the kidney grill. <laughs> the kidney grill is also on it. This mustard yellow looks quite nice. And then you have something very funky here with the R90. Check that out. Then you also have many, many, many moto pins. So you can literally choose what bike you like. They've segregated it as per different uh, brand names. And then if your favorite bike is here, you can just buy this label pin to put on your jacket. And there are plenty of those. Price at 10 euros each. This exhibit is for fans of carbon fiber. I mean, just look at the amount of carbon fiber on every motorcycle here including the R1250 GS. It's not just the sportier ones like the double R's or whatever. There is so much carbon fiber. That one also has the non-woven carbon fiber, which is all the rage right now. And there's also the M1000RR up on the stage right there. Donuts, donuts, donuts. Continental, Metas, Metzler. They are all right here. The new Karu 4. Basically, you know, all the new, uh, the latest tires that are in the market right now are also on display over here from multiple brands. I just showed you three of them. And uh, then there are others in the other uh, areas of this festival as well. This queue that you see is for the BMW gear and the merchandise ride and style as you know it so that is the ride section of it we have all the riding gear and i'm standing in the style section of it i already have some good riding gear from bmw just picking up a sweatshirt but of course this uh, is a big part of the bmw lifestyle right their branded riding gear their branded merchandise etc and when you come to a festival like this there's always some discounts going on some end of season stuff that is you know, that's something you can shop for etc etc so all of that is available right here. You'll also see a lot of tour operators advertising here at the Motorrad uh, days because of course touring is a big part uh, of the BMW heritage, right? So it's not just touring within Europe, you know, you're looking at places like Thailand as well. So these are places where you can come for, for different tours. So every booth is either a different country or maybe a different uh, you know, a touring experience, touring route, etc. And all of that you can sign up from right here. You can get all that information right here. So it's it's really nice. So this is, for example, the Enduro Park. You want to go for your rider training or maybe you want to do like a, a, a Motra trip, uh, you know, a luxury trip up in Switzerland, etc. All of that is right here. Then there is some extreme Enduro training that you can also sign up for. A uh, trip to the Dolomites, etc. All of that is right here. And finally, this big exhibit is like a big showroom for BMW. Like I said, there are 32 models that they're currently building in 2023, right? So all of them are on display here. And uh, because this is the Motra days, of course, uh, the updated models are also here. The, there were some uh, models that recently got an update. For example, that GSA that you see there uh, was introduced with a new scheme of blue and that 2024 color scheme is what you see here as well so all the updated models are also here and uh, here people can come sit on the bikes uh, book a test ride maybe maybe even book the motorcycle get the motorcycle right here you know so all that can also happen here and that's the beauty of it right because 
for example, bikes like these, the M1000R or even the M1000RR that you can see there, uh, they are not going to be available that easily for display in India, uh, let alone, uh, you know, getting a chance to sit on them, take a test ride maybe. But all of that can happen at festivals like these and which is why a lot of the serious customers, uh, you know, also think about actually coming for, uh, for uh, the motor days and doing that very thing, right? Imagine swinging a leg over the M1000RR, maybe signing up for a test ride and going for a test ride. Uh, not happening in India for sure. There are a lot of showrooms that yet don't have the S1000RR for a test ride in India. So if you are, uh, you know, very serious about picking up a 50 lakh rupee motorcycle like that, it might not be a bad idea to actually speak to BMW India, come to Motra Days, arrange for a proper test ride, maybe around the racetrack as well, and only then choose to put down your money. BMW India might just help you uh, to do that if you're willing to come all the way uh, to Germany for a proper test ride of the vehicle. Now, we've also seen BMW M become an integral part of BMW Motorrad in recent times, which is why there are the M cars and the M bikes together here at the festival. So you can see the M2. I'm really digging the the paintwork on it or the wrap, whatever it is. I think it's a wrap. It's not a paint job. I'm really digging that design. It's really looking nice. Uh, honestly, on the screen right now, I don't think the video is really doing justice, but that orange is really bright and it's sticking out so well. And it's also got all these M performance parts on it. We reviewed the M2 recently. Uh, that clearly didn't have all of this. Uh, so I think we might also see a BMW M2 competition with similar parts, similar M parts is what I think. So M2 competition, not too far away. I think this is exactly what it is going to look like. Oh, and look at that. Wow, quad exhaust pipes, super. And then here you have the X6M in a beautiful matte gray paint job. And then we already saw the M1000R and the M and the M1000RR, but this is the M1000XR that recently debuted. Because it's also done up in black, uh, the carbon fiber is nicely gelling into the bodywork. But yeah, it, it just doesn't look as radical as the M1000RR or even the M1000R. This one, yeah, it's okay. Well, the new Mission Impossible movie is now showing in theaters, Dead Reckoning. And here you can see the police vehicle from it, the F900. XR police vehicle from it on display at the Motra days. So I'm stepping out of the halls now and uh, out in the open area. You can all obviously imagine there's going to be a lot of food stalls like that. And uh, a lot of people are queuing up already because it is lunchtime. Uh, it's nice and sunny right now, not too hot. Uh, good weather to enjoy. But there are other kiosks as well, which I'm going to take a look at now. So this kiosk is definitely going to attract the younger audience and those younger at the, at heart. So, for example, uh, there is Ride 4 happening on PlayStation 5 right now. There's Ride 5 coming out very soon as well. But you can have a go at the BMW lineup, even virtually if you like. If you don't have a license or your age is uh, not yet where you can uh, ride these bikes. And then, if you're even younger or again, even younger at heart and you want to assemble a motorcycle yourself, the Lego kits are also on display here. So what you can see behind me is the BMW plant tours. Now, I showed you inside that there are a lot of trips and uh, a lot of enduro parks, etc. that you can sign up for. You can also sign up for the plant tour if you're coming to Berlin. But inside this kiosk, apart from signing up for a plant tour, there's something else that you can also see and it's, it's really nice. So here they are pinstriping different panels. So you can simply just bring, uh, you know, a panel of your motorcycle and request them to do that or if you want to uh, you know give it a try if you want to try your hand at pinstriping they'll allow you to do that as well you can see someone's trying that if you want to see how stable your hand is yeah come here give it a try it's certainly not an easy affair and you can uh, you know do that for yourself but if you want like i said you can also bring a panel from your motorcycle and request them to do it for you or maybe you can do it uh, and then add that customized part on your motorcycle and here there's more art going on. He's just painted that 
wasp right there. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? Now, stunt shows are a very important part of such events, right? That is what all this crowd is for, but this is with a difference. This is with police vehicles. Take a look. So this is where the party atmosphere is, this is where all the food is and what you see behind me, that's the wall of death and that's the long queue for it. They are doing this every one hour on the vintage bikes. So that is definitely a sight, but right now the queue is too long and it's almost full inside. But guess what? I've got a spot because someone offered me their spot. So I am now going into the queue. These are the stunt riders. The bikes are inside and I'm almost there. And in case you decide to bring your kids, there is something for the kids too. There is a kid zone and not just play areas like these but also play areas for those little motorheads. Small BMW cars, two wheelers and a nice course for them to go ride on. There you can see it. So you can simply just pick up the vehicles from here and then you can ride. And some of you say the BMW R 1250 GS is like a cow bike, <laughs> but it doesn't feel anything like this. So my final thoughts about the BMW Motorrad Festival. The Motorrad Days uh, is very different than the kind of festivals, motorcycle festivals that I have seen, not just in India, but also uh, from some of the other brands in other parts of the world. Uh, one of the biggest differences is it's not too loud. Uh, there is no unwanted revving happening. There is uh, good music all around. And it's a very different, a very soft-natured uh, event in that sense and in a good way. Uh, there's a lot to do for everyone, all different uh, age groups, etc. Uh, there is a lot to try out, the entire range of motorcycles is there to try out. And uh, you can see everything under one roof. There are stunt shows happening, there's a lot of shopping you can do, etc, etc. So the magnitude is not huge, but whatever is there is all quality stuff. And that's, I think, a very good thing. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself out here and now there's going to be a Another stunt show, the bikes are just behind me, there they are, so they are preparing for another stunt show which is going to happen on that ramp right there. So like I said, the fun never ends, 
if you are a biker, any motorcycle festival is going to keep you happy. And the good thing is, motorcycle festival like this, with a different flavor than the other festivals that you've seen, it's a very good idea. So if you haven't tried it out, do give it a try, is my suggestion. And from an India standpoint, the only thing that I would say is, if you are specifically coming to Germany for the Motra days, I would also suggest clubbing it uh, with some kind of uh, uh, experiential ride, maybe some enduro training, some kind of riding, uh, rider training program, etc. Uh, because, uh, like I said, there is not too much to do at the Motrad Festival, and that's in a good way. Uh, it's not going to keep you too busy. Uh, it's not going to keep you on your toes all the time. You can come here, make it a nice, relaxed weekend, and that's what I enjoy about it. And you will uh, not really feel that, uh, oh, I needed more time. You know, I did not see this, I did not see that. That's not going to happen. There are a few things here, but you will be able to experience all of it on, uh, on the two days that you spend here. At the same time, if you're making a trip all the way from India to come here just for the Motrad days, it's better that you club it with other experiences as well. It will just make the experience a whole lot richer. I wish that I could also go on a European ride right now. Unfortunately, that's not happening. We have to move from one place to another to create content for you. But I'm glad if you've waited all the way till the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until the next one, take care and ride safe.